Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to fill a space with a organic pattern. Let's create a new Houdini document and use a circle as a base surface. I will increase its resolution to 120 and come up with another circle node, which I rename to triangle. Let's set the divisions to three and scale it down. So what you should see now is a triangle sitting inside a circle and we are going to make the triangle grow. I will use a for loop, which I find easier for debugging than a solver. And first of all, measure its curvature. For that, I'll set the measure node to run over points and ask for the Gaussian curvature, which also works on 2D curves like mine. I will remap its output. So let's pick up the curvature and call it P scale, which stands for point scale. And I will map it to a range of 0.01 to 0.08. And we can also gain additional control by setting the remapping curve to hill so we have a few points to play with and potentially change the remapping of the curvature or point scale. This point scale is being used in a point relax node which will push our points away from each other so the point scale will be driving the evasion of these points and, and in order to not make my pattern leave the circle I will connect the second input of the point relax node to my base surface. After doing that relaxation for two iterations I want to add a resample node so I can keep enough definition of my curve so my subdivision curves I will set to 0.02 and now with each iteration these points will be pushed away from each other. We can end up with maybe 20 iterations but this really depends on how far you push it. You can play with the remap node the relaxation steps There's a multiplier for the point scale. And the definition of the resample one node or the resample node would also change the detail we get. Once you're happy with the result, you can then resample the entire curve one more time. I will set mine to subdivision again and use a length of 0.01. And this pattern can also be colorized by ramping the attribute curvature to infrared, for example. You get a nice color palette and uh, another thing we could potentially do is blur the curvature or the point scale. We'll see with an attribute blur I can pick up the curvature, not the position. Let's delete that. Disable pinning the border points and then if you come up with a blur you will see that now we have different shapes here. That would be an, another interesting option. It's really worth playing with that. And if you want to show this in animation, you would connect the triangle to a solver node, make sure the base surface is connected to its second input and paste in the nodes. Make sure to reconnect input two to the relax node and when we go outside, we will activate the real-time toggle 
connect the solver to our resample2 node and the color node and hit play just to see it growing. Thank you for watching.